Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously as requested in the comments from you guys in my video last week, I am just doing a nice sit down chat going through, you know, protein, some examples, snacks, meals, ideas, of course, sharing the recipes as well for you. So I hope you guys like this, let's jump in. Also, side note, I am still sick. I've got medicine for it now. Um, so if I cough or I sound lazily, that is why, so you are aware of it. So protein, as we spoke about in my video for weight loss summer tips, protein is really important. It's a macro that I really make sure that my clients eat enough of. It's important for so many different reasons. Um, just to name a couple so you guys know, um, it's good for muscle growth, it's good for weight loss because it makes you feel fuller for longer, it's good for um, muscle repair, recovery, um, and Honestly, it's just a protein that we need to make sure that we are consuming enough of every single day. And that's why I like to make sure that my clients, including myself, make sure that we eat protein for all three of our meals and snacks included. Now, of course, there will be some times that you can't always, you know, if you're out and about, but when you are at home and the majority of your meals, I do try and make sure that that is always incorporated in some way. So let's talk about some protein sources. So when I talk about protein, what do I mean by that? So of course, most people, when you think of protein, we just straight away think of meat. So we think of, you know, chicken, turkey, mincemeat, beef, steaks, you know, you think of all those things. Protein could also be found in things such as fish as well, of course, you know, like tuna, cod, mackerel, etc. And it could also be found in Greek yogurt as well as cottage cheese. Now, cottage cheese is a really great one to also include in your diet. Including that as well, you can find protein in lentils and chickpeas if you are a vegetarian. You can also find it in peanut butter. There are a few, of course, other vegetables that are higher in um, protein as well that you can get with the vegetarian meal. And of course, eggs are always one of the ones that are nice and high in protein, especially the egg white part, which is why you might see some people just having like egg white omelets or, you know, just using the egg white in general. So it's really good to make sure you're incorporating a variety of different protein sources into your diet. And again, if you are a vegetarian, you can use um, veggie substitutes. My sister is actually a vegetarian, so she likes to include things like corn, tofu, seity and tempeh into her diet. Um, those are really great meals to add in and include just so you are getting enough protein. One thing I would say is when you do buy those type of foods, just be careful or be cautious and look at the back of the fat content as well um, because sometimes they could be higher in fat than protein. So it's always a really good trick just to have a look at the back of those as well. I'm not saying fat is bad, fat is good. I want you to make sure you're including fat, but I'm just saying check the protein versus the fat in it. Okay, so let's, I'm moving my leg up here to be more comfy. You know, gotta do what the prego belly needs. So let's start diving into some meals because I know that when we think about protein, it is quite difficult to, off the top of your head, think what should you be eating? So let's just take snacks, for example. So with my clients, I always say to them, it's a really great thing that you should be eating is protein as a snack. So you can have that in the form of a protein shake. Super easy to make. You can take it with you to work in the sense of you can literally just take the protein powder in a bottle. Um, protein bars, absolutely love a protein bar. I love them and I think there's nothing wrong with them. So protein bars are a great one to do. Plus a lot of them these days taste like chocolate. You could also do boiled eggs that you could take with you. You can do um, tuna in Greek yogurt with tomatoes, just like as a little like snack bite thing which is always delicious. Um, and also on top of that, you can make yourself some savory egg bites, pack it with a lot of vegetables. They're basically like egg little muffins. Um, or you could do like rolled up slices of ham or turkey, combine that with some cucumber, cheese, whatever you guys want. There is tons of different ways. And as you guys know from TikTok these days, there are so many great recipes, um, especially I've been seeing going around the cottage cheese ice cream. That is such a great snack idea to have. Um, on top of that, you can also get protein yogurt these days that are veggie friendly as well um, and just Greek yogurt itself you could have with some fruit like those are really great options that you can be including into your diet um, one of my personal favorites is always protein bar protein shake um, Greek yogurt and um, I haven't actually tried the cottage cheese ice cream but I feel like it's something I need to try at some point um, so yeah those are some examples of snacks for you all so the next part is let's go on to breakfast so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you three meals and recipes for breakfast lunch and dinner just to give you you know an idea of what you can be having you can use this over the week meal plan it um, and meal prep it and you know hopefully this just gives you an indication of the type of foods that you can be eating so let's start with breakfast so breakfast when I have time at the weekend I absolutely love making 
protein pancakes. Now, there are various kind of recipes that you can use. I like to be quick in the kitchen, as you guys know. So my protein pancakes are very, very easy. It's literally um, half a mashed banana, um, it's an, one egg, a little bit of milk, and then protein powder. Mix, 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 mix. Fry, top it with peanut butter, Greek yogurt, and my favorite is just a bunch of raspberries. Um, you can jazz it up any way that you want to, but to me, that is such a delicious breakfast. Um, also, one of my favorite toppings is to get like a chocolate protein spread, delicious. You can also do that as well. Um, so yeah, that's one breakfast idea and the recipe I've just shared. The next one that you can have, which again, is a really great meal that I actually always get when I go out for breakfast. I feel like when I'm at home, I'm too lazy to do it. I just just like deconstruct it, but doing a vegetable omelette is such a great way to get your macros included. So you could literally do, you know, how many eggs you want. You could get broccoli, kale, spinach, whatever you wanted, mix that, make it, and then do it with a slice of toast. To me, that is such a great breakfast to have. It's filling, it's delicious, and like I said, it's getting all those macros. Now, you don't have to just do the egg whites. You can use the full egg, or you could do a combination of both, where you could say do two eggs and one egg white, the choice is yours. Like you don't need to get that nitpicky about it, but it's a delicious breakfast choice. And another one of my favorites to have and my final breakfast idea, something that I actually just had, was protein oats. Now this is so delicious and I always find it really comforting for some reason. So you could obviously just get oats, you can get your milk of choice. My milk of choice is always unsweetened almond milk. You can put half a scoop of protein powder in. It kind of depends on your taste with the protein powder and what you're using. Um, I also always add a scoop of collagen in there just because I actually don't like using all the protein powder. I just probably use like a quarter. Then I use the collagen on top to give it an extra boost. So cook that. I always cook it with honey as well. I'm one of those at the minute where I don't like putting honey on top. I like it involved in the bowl. So I do it and cook it with honey. Um, and then I literally just chop up a bunch of different fruits. Um, today, I actually decided to have strawberries and apples. I wanted like a bit of a crunch with the sweetness. It was such a vibe, highly recommend. So those are three breakfast ideas that you can try. Comment below which one you are gonna take this week for you. Okay, let's move on to lunch. Lunch is such an important time of the day. And again, this is a conversation I've had with many of my clients because they're always, again, in this type of mindset that they think that they have to cut out carbs, so they don't eat a lot of carbs, they have like a salad or a soup or something very light for lunch, and then they find themselves crashing by four o'clock, which is normal. So, eat your carbs with your protein. So let's jump into some ideas. The first one, chicken salad wrap. I love a chicken salad wrap. I've said this before on this channel. Chicken salad wraps pop in many different ways. So just to make it as easy as possible, you can just get a nice tortilla wrap of your choice. I always try and go for like a whole wheat one. You can put Greek yogurt for the bottom, because again, that's gonna build up the protein in there. Put a little bit of cucumber, some salad, shredded chicken. You can add a little bit of um, mustard as well. It's just a personal preference of mine. Salsa, jalapenos, however you wanna jazz it up. Um, you can put a little bit of cheese if you want, roll it up, heat it up if you feel like it. If you've got a panini press, get it going. If you don't, just wrap it up and enjoy it. So that's getting all your macros across the whole plate. And again, it's just a really delicious and satisfying meal. You can do that with a side salad as well. If you feel like you are gonna get more hungry afterwards, that's always a great option to do. But chicken salad wrap, can't go wrong, highly recommend. So another great recipe is, this is kind of something that I was thinking about the other day that I love to do. And it's like the quickest and easiest poll. Um, so it's literally getting a can of tuna, put it in a bowl. Then I actually cook up a bunch of veggies. So I like to do with my veggies, kind of like a stir fry, it'll be like broccoli, peppers, onions, garlic, um, and courgette. I just make that all in like a big frying pan. I put the heat of spice on top and then put that in the bowl with the tuna. And then I will also cook some rice with it. So you can do rice or quinoa, but again, you're getting all three macros across the plate in this. Um, and up to you what you want to top it with. I, again, sometimes like topping it with mustard. I sometimes love topping it with salsa. The choice is yours, but that is such a delicious meal to take with you to work or to have at home. Um, and tuna is really high in protein, so I highly recommend 
you do consume it, but please just keep to a max of like two to three times a week. That is the maximum that you want to have because of mercury um, exposure in your body. So that's like the max you want to have. Um, other fishes that you can do with that um, is mackerel. Mackerel is a really great one to have in there because it's a very nice oily fish. Um, and again, you don't just have to use tuna. You can use a veggie substitute in that. Um, one of the ones that I probably would use in that is tempeh. I think that would go really nicely with that if you wanted to, especially when you have that fajita spice on there jazzing up slightly, it's delicious. And now for the third dinner, which again, you can actually use this as a veggie meal or you could of course substitute it with meat. So I would get like minced corn. I don't know if this is what you guys have everywhere in the world. I know in the UK corn is a, maybe it's a British thing. It's basically like a meat substitute that you can get different kind of varieties in. So you can get minced meat, chicken strips, breaded chicken. Um, my sister does love it. So she always has it. Um, I've eaten it before and it's really nice. So. I would always suggest making yourself like a spaghetti um, the night before, which you can have for dinner and then use it for lunch. Um, you could do like a spaghetti with tomato, fill that with a bunch of different veggies as well. And then you could do that with a side of pasta and use that for, you know, your lunch. It's delicious, it's filling. And again, it's got all the macros that you need in there. And, you know, do the tomato base kind of to your liking. I like in my tomato base, um, I'm a cheater. I always get like a passata. Uh, passata. Um, and then I just do like garlic, onion, peppers, I keep it really minimal, um, sometimes a bit of celery, and then I just chuck some veg in there like um, carrots and peas just to give me additional vegetables. Um, but that is a really great meal for you to have. And like I said, you can either do it with the corn, or of course you could use actual meat. The choice is yours. Moving on to dinner. Some people like love, love, love dinner. I love dinner. Um, other people prefer their lunches. I don't know, what do you guys prefer? So let's jump into some dinner ideas for you. So. The first one is a Thai inspired peanut chicken. So this is delicious, this meal. I always tell my clients about cooking this. I've got the recipe here on the screen for you. Again, this is really good, this recipe, and it's got the fats in it from the peanut butter. It's got obviously the chicken for the protein. And again, it's got the veggies for your like macros in that sense. So this is a really great meal. And again, you can use this um, as leftovers the next day. You can have it for dinner or lunch, however you want to do it. But this is to me like a really great dish because it's creamy, it's got the right textures in there. Um, and you know, don't be afraid to kind of just use the vegetables that you want to use in there as well. Um, again, always the choice is yours with veggies. Um, but yeah, this is a really great recipe that I highly recommend trying. Um, even if you haven't, just go and cook it because it's delicious. Next one, again, so. I would always do this with turkey mints. Again, you could substitute this with a veggie substitute, um, but I prefer to use turkey just because it's leaner. Um, it's a leaner protein, doesn't have as much fat. And I actually just prefer the taste of it um, when I make a chili. So I would do a turkey mince chili. Now, again, you could spice this up how you want. I'll put a recipe on the screen for you to try. Um, but I love a chili. Like, I just don't think you could go wrong with it. You can make it as spicy or as non-spicy as you want. Chuck a load of red beans in there. Get jazzy with it. Serve that with a side of veggies. You could have some rice with it. You can have quinoa. Um, Again, like however you want to do it, but this is just a really great meal. And I just find again, it's one of those that is like hearty and filling. Um, and I always feel satisfied when I have a chili. I normally always go in for seconds because I love chili so much. Um, preferably I like my mum's chili. I need her to actually make me a chili soon. <laughs> I might get her to do that. Um, she's actually coming up soon, so I might get her to. Um, so that is a really great dish. And now let me share the third and final one with you. The third and final one is fajitas with a salad. So you, again, can use any type of meat that you want. You can either use chicken or you can use a substitute, again, like tempeh. Um, I probably wouldn't use tempeh, actually. I'd probably use tofu um, to give it like the strips of chicken. Or again, corn sometimes do like actual chicken looking ones. Um, so you can use that and I would just do fajitas. And normally when I have fajitas, I normally have two wraps and then I do like a big salad um, just because I find that I personally prefer to have that balance with it. So you could make yourself a really nice salad, just, you know, like lettuce leaves. Um, you could put the chicken on top of it with the salsa, bit of cheese, jalapenos, the black beans, delish and then of course you can actually cook the chicken in the peppers and the onions and the sauce put that on top and then also use the rest of the chicken to make you know one or two wraps however you want to have it um, inside the wrap again I would use Greek yogurt 
just so the protein higher is higher. The protein, protein, the protein content is higher. Um, and then obviously put the chicken and the peppers and onions, wrap it up and enjoy that baby because it's delicious. So guys, that is my meals, tips, etc., on protein. I hope this is exactly what you all wanted and I hope that you really like these meals. Let me know below which meals you are gonna be trying out first. Um, some of these have actually made me really hungry. Um, so I'm gonna go eat. Uh, but thank you so much for tuning in and watching. And remember, if you are feeling a little bit stuck with your diet, you're unsure, you know, a blueprint of what to do, etc., let me show you how in my coaching program, which is designed, honestly, to be the last program you're ever gonna need. I'm gonna give you a very sustainable weight loss plan that is eventually gonna turn into a very flexible way of eating and exercising that you continue for the rest of your life. So if you wanna check that out, just apply in the description box below. But that's it for me, guys. I'll see you soon.